So, what I'm going to do for this fun little 200 subscriber anniversary stream thing is I'm going to play Castle of the Winds. Castle of the Winds is a game made by some people. <laughs> I totally forgot the name of the... Oh, Jesus Christ. The name of the developers. Um, it was published... It was or it was made in 1989, I think, and was published four years later by Epic Mega Games. It's a shareware game, and um, what this essentially is is a old early Windows 3.1 graphical roguelike. So how about we just start the game? Um, it's a shareware product, indeed. I by Sada Soft, yes. I think it's just one it was just one guy that was called Robert Sada or something. And um yeah, I played this game about I don't know, 20 years ago probably. And uh I remember not having any clue what I was doing. But um going back to it or like reading up to it on it, it seems to be that this game is just a graphical roguelike. And uh, I played a lot of roguelikes, like in my adolescence and my adult life. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be able to go back on this game with a fresh perspective and stuff. You know, I'm probably going to be able to tell what the fuck is going on. So how about we just start the game. And here we go. We have a nice window screen here. Castle of the Winds, part one. The question of vengeance. So well, this is just the shareware version. I think if you registered the version, if you paid money, you got the second version as well. But I think what you were supposed to do was play through this one and then play through part two. And I don't think we're going to get as far as going to get to... Like, we're not going to get to part two in this, I think. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oops, I need to do some quick things here. I need to pop out the chat just so that I can read it okay okay this works all this works Put this. stop let's do this thing and there we go so let's start a new game I have I've just done a little bit of testing earlier this is why you can already see this stuff here uh, but I've not really I've not actually played any so uh, I'm going to go back to the game, and I'm not going to know what the hell I'm doing. So this, the whole thing here, actually runs in, like, in Windows Windows, as you can see. So this is, this is probably going to be interesting. So let's make a character. The character is going to be Jeff. And what you can do now is you can, you know... You have four stats here, strength, intelligence, constitution, and dexterity. And um, yeah, you can basically, you can't really spend points as there are no, it is not visualized as a number, but you can, you know, increase, for example, strength to a maximum of this, to this line. And you can also decrease stats, by the way, go down to here. So, um, I don't know. I don't know, like, I have no idea about any kind of best practices or anything. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a bunch of points into strength. I'm going to put a bunch of points into constitution, like this maybe. I'm going to put some points into dexterity. I always like to play dexterous characters in these types of games. And, uh, yeah, so I guess strength is going to be how hard you can hit, I guess, right? Intelligence is probably going to govern magic. Um, constitution is going to govern hit points, I guess. And dexterity is the two hit percentage. I mean, that would be the... That would be the... Uh, the classic thing. But the game might handle that differently. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go with intermediate, yeah? Not with easy. Um, if I'm going to get killed, I'm going to get killed. All right? All right. Okay, so now that we start the game, what we can do is we can pick a spell. And um, heal minor wounds would be, would be nice, right? Detect objects would also be nice. Magic arrow, 
I think we're probably going to mostly attack with our weapon, since we have a bunch of strength and so on. Shield is probably nice. Phase door, which is probably some sort of teleportation spell, which could be nice for teleporting away. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm going to be boring and just go with heal minor wounds now. We can probably also learn new stuff, new spells and so on. So now we find ourselves in a tiny hamlet. We are this chap over here. We are not very fond of shirts. And uh, what we can do is we can move around like in every roguelike. And this is a very charming MS Paint style graphic. Graphics. And uh, yeah, let's look around. So here we have Bjorn the blacksmith. Gunhild general store. Um... <clears throat> Shrine of Odin. That's interesting. Do we have here Olaf's junk store and Snorri the Sage. So Castle of the Winds seems to be sort of based on Norse mytholo mythology, I guess. Since we have a Shrine of Odin, and these seem to be Nordic names, so Jeff fits right in. Um. Oh, dear me. Sometimes Windows freaks out here. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the blacksmith. So what do we have? We have a small pack. It weighs 100 and has 100 bulk. It has a max weight of 12,000 and max bulk of 50,000. So I think what's going on here is that every item has a weight and a bulk. And um, so, yeah. Stuff like armor suits have high bulk, so we cannot actually carry more than two armor suits, for example, because, uh, well, for once they weigh a lot and they are, like, bulky, you know? You can't carry all this stuff around, so if you have a lot of light stuff that is very bulky, you also run into problems. And I kind of like that system, actually. That's actually kind of nice. And this is basically how far I got into the game. I don't know anything else. I think CP might be uh, money. Yeah, we have a normal dagger. Which we could sell for 240. But uh, let's keep that dagger for now. There's a short sword, which would almost cost all of our money. A leather armor. How about we... You know what? I don't know if this is actually a good thing to do. But how about we buy a piece of leather armor? Yes. Costs a lot of money, but uh, whatever, right? You know, there are a lot of inventory slots and so on. I kind of like this. Interestingly enough, also, um, stuff that you are wearing does not, uh, does not go onto your weight or your bulk. So that's cool, I guess. Because that is just determined by the pack that you have. And I think what you can do is you can... Oh no! You have an... Okay, so... What these packs do is increase your maximum weight and your maximum bulk, but um, you also have, a, have an absolute maximum, and that is determined by, I guess, your strength or something? I don't know. Well, let's keep going. What do we have here? Elixir of Heal Minor Wounds. There's a lot of items and stuff here. There are belts with slots. Okay, they don't cost much, so how about we just get one of those. Um, leather boots, they also don't cost much. But they weigh a lot. Jeez. You know what? Let's just wear some leather boots, why not? The wool cloak also doesn't cost much. Um, overgarment, yes. I really like those graphics. It's great. Exit. Good. So, let's see. Um, what do these guys have? Snorri the Sage. Name object. Okay, so you can give names to things. Sword pack character. Uh-huh. Armor value. It does not tell you, actually, what armor value and so on stuff can have. That's interesting. So, let's... Take a look at that. Armor value 19. Take this off. We have armor value... Okay. 18. That makes sense. And the leather armor. 
13, okay. So we apparently have some kind of inherent armor value or something. And items can increase that. Well, that makes sense. I pressed activate, which I did not intend to do, but... Well, it seems to be working all right. Uh, verbs, examine, search, disarm, trap. So you can play this. Um, this being a Windows game, it has a mouse interface. Um, but you can also just do play the game in a classic roguelike fashion, you know? Press X for examine. And you see grass. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, yeah. What you then have to do is... Um, Use the numpad to move your mouse. Okay, cool. Um, okay, there's something here. Oh. You gaze once more at the charred ruins of the farm where you were raised. You buried the blackened skeletons of your godparents in the remains of the garden they loved. But you can't bury the anger. Okay, so our parents have been killed here. Yeah? Um, and we need to find an amulet. Some variation of the amulet of Yendor, I guess. So what do we have here? Highway vanishing in the distance. I feel no need to continue. Okay, so we can't go there. What we can go do is probably we can go in here. Is there anything else? Okay, and that's just the highway, I guess. Uh, so let's go in. Let's go into the dungeon. And take a look around. So, um, yeah, this is what the game looks like. As I said, this is a basic roguelike, right? So there's a giant rat. So let's, uh, oh god, almost got, oh, we got murdered by a giant rat. <laughs> this is a roguelike, all right. So maybe our little dagger is not that great. Um, you know what? I'm just going to try this again. Let's do the minor wounds again. Maybe I should just have healed my minor wounds. Um, I think I'm going to get some armor because uh, that's still important. Or maybe it's good to just get a good sword or something right from the start. I don't know. Gauntlets. You know what? Get some gauntlets. Helmet? No, we can't afford a helmet. Um, let's get that belt. I don't know what these slots actually do. Or how that manifests. I don't know. Because there doesn't seem to be... We just have our pack and this stuff. But, uh, oh! Ah, so we can put stuff in here. Probably stuff like potions and so on. And now I can't move around anymore. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's kind of strange going back to an old Windows 3.1 game. Um, well, let's just go into the, into the dungeon now. Let's just do this quickly. And there is some guy. What are you? An uninjured kobold. Oh, and there's a bit of armor. Hmm. Uninjured kobold. Hits you, hits you. Oh, fuck me. This is bad. Okay, heal minor wounds. Does heal us completely, but, uh... Jeez. This is tough. Barely scratched. Okay, um... Let's go up here. I guess. And that's the rat. The rats are also just murdering me. Christ on the stick. Huh. Let's play a lady. And... Let's put some more into strength, I guess. Maybe I should put it to easy, actually. I don't know. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's see. Normal hammer. You know what? Maybe that dagger is not great. How about we get a hammer? Okay, hammer and dagger are actually kind of the same. So, hmm.
at least in terms of worth. I don't know. I have no clue what I'm doing. Suit of leather armor. I mean, we can find some of that stuff in the dungeon, but uh, let's try this again. Let's try to figure this game out. Okay. Okay, at least we, we were able to kill the kobold. And for, hmm. I wonder if this is actually procedurally generated, because that was kind of looks the same as always. Also, interestingly enough, so what we have is a normal suit of leather armor. Um, this thing here is just a suit of leather armor, so it could be that that thing is not identified. Which is a classic roguelike. Oh, Christ, the giant rat. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe more constitution? Let's put. Let's get some points away from intelligence. Put that into constitution. And. Um, do this again. I'm not going to put this down too easy. Because, uh, yeah, I want to, like, there has to be a way to do this, right? So I want to figure this out. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually get a short sword. Yes. Don't have a piece of armor now, which is maybe bad. But um, always found one. So maybe that actually could work out in our favor. I don't know. Let's try this again. So with our higher constitution, we actually have more HP, which is good. And we're probably going to be cut into smithereens, because we don't have armor. So that's great. Yeah, it's actually the same thing. But, uh, well, we just murdered the kobold. Well, that's actually working out. Let's get the suit of leather armor. Let's put that on. Which is maybe a bad idea, because um, it might be cursed. But we can take it off again, so uh, it does not seem to be cursed. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Let's see. Character. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Well, let's just continue and see how this is working. Okay, well this is working much better now, actually. Oh dear. Let's heal up. Okay, so having the heal minor wound spell is actually really good here yeah, at the start. You can also rest. Also, um, the game has kind of a time mechanic. So each step does 2 to 3 seconds. But there doesn't seem to be a food clock, actually. I haven't seen any food items or anything. But maybe the time thing actually does something. I don't know what, but uh, it might. Also, our health just regenerates with time. Oh dear. There's a goblin, but the goblin is dead. Okay, getting a good weapon at the start is very advisable. Okay. Well, so much for that. Let's go down. Crikey, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a viper. It poisoned me, oh Christ. Oh dear, oh dear. The skeleton hit me. Okay. But this is actually, this actually works out. Um, yeah, let's go with that for now. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. Um, I'm gonna stick with the heal minor wound spell. Let's get a short sword. Put that in. Sell the dagger. All right. Let's do. Let's get the belt. You know what? Let's just get this stuff. Get some boots, get a cloak. But we don't have any shirt on. Good. 
there are all these kinds of huh, detect monsters so maybe this is oh no it just casts the thing when activated so they work like in like they do in most roguelikes i guess okay let's go let's go whoops and there we go okay let's see so this seems to be always the same right oh christ and i'm dead again you're really 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 frail at the start let's just do this character again normal short sword okay man surviving the start in this game is not easy or maybe i'm just a dumbass but uh yep okay now a bunch of enchanted capes increases the character's armor value uh-huh they are way too expensive though so mm. spell book okay so spell books allow you to learn new spells that's good to know all right let's try this stuff again right i actually like from playing the game back in the day i don't remember it being so tough at the start <laughs> okay that's the cobalt are you gonna come Oh, maybe I should just run in there and get the uh, get the armor. But no, the cobalt is dead. Okay. This is probably the best thing to do. Um, can we rest? Yes, we can rest. All right. Now we're talking. But um, the dungeon layout doesn't change, which is interesting. And also the, the positioning of the monsters. So... This basically works like a roguelike, but it does not seem to have procedurally generated f dungeon floors. That's kind of that's kind of strange. There's this guy again, or maybe the first level is always the same. That could also be, but uh, we're gonna see once we go down. This is an interesting game. Okay, this now looks different. Okay, I wonder what this is. It looks like ice or something, but the game just says the dungeon floor. Oh, it could also be light. And there's a pit here. Let's rest up real fast. Okay, now that we know it, we can pass it. Book of Spells, okay. Can we actually... what happens? How can we actually use that? Activate. Ah, this is how it works. Spell of Detect Objects. Okay. Um, so let's try that. Let's do Detect Objects. How far does that go? You sense objects. Hmm. Ah, okay. So there's a wand up there. How do we search? S. Okay. Searching is always one minute. Hmm. But there doesn't seem to be a hidden path there. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're... I'm actually... Huh. I'm actually kind of digging this. This is a pretty... No, oh no, that's a viper. Um, this is kind of a basic, very basic game. Now oh, we're poisoned. Fuck. Oh no. But... Oh no. It is intriguing. Hey, viper. Why did... Oh. Why didn't you fall into the pit? <laughs> well, vipers are probably smarter than that. All right. Um, uh, let's try this again. And that's kind of a good thing to know, is um, that you always find, apparently you always find the armor. So we'll cloak, belt, boots. So let's go in. Okay. Oh shit. Fill up. Uh, 
Okay. You cleave the kobold wide open. That is rather unpleasant. Oops, I did not want to heal. I wanted to rest, actually. I wonder how mana regenerates, actually. It could be governed by time, but I don't know how exactly that works. Yeah, we, we don't regenerate mana, actually. So, yeah. Okay, and this goblin now did not leave the copper coins. All right. Hey, there's a, there's a cloak. There is the next stairs down. Oh no, that was a teleporter. Teleport trap. Suit of rusty armor. Well, yeah, that's pretty bulky and pretty weighty. Too heavy. Oh yeah, you. Well, that makes sense. You can't really. Can we take that off again? Yes, we can. Armor value seven. Seven. Okay, so that does not help. No, thirteen. Hmm. The cloak. Okay, let's leave the suit of rusty armor there and keep the cloak for now. The giant rat again. Jesus Christ! The giant rats are terrifying in this. The backhand stroke. Rest. Okay. So resting also does not regenerate your mana. Mm hmm. Okay. This is the map. Scroll. We don't know what the scroll does. There's also a bat somewhere, but uh, apparently passed us by. The giant bat is dead. Okay. okay. We have a potion here. Indeed. Some pieces of copper. Oh dear. There's some stuff there. I don't trust this. Okay. And a hand axe. I wonder... We see uh, hit points, mana points, speed. So we can't actually see how good these weapons are. Hmm. And there are some braces. Also, interestingly enough, there are, there seem to be braces. There we go. Normal braces. Okay. Um. A wool cloak. Okay, so you can actually you actually identify this stuff by putting it on. Another suit of leather armor, and that's probably a bad idea. But uh, just want to see just a normal suit again. Okay. So where are we? Over here. Okay. Hobgoblin. This is probably bad news. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Zombie. Oh, walking corpse, for that matter. Is destroyed. Let's try to rest here. It's kind of... You can kind of... Um, yeah. We're kind of faster than all these guys, so that's kind of good. Let's see if we can. Yes, we destroyed the Hobgoblin. And he recognized its own mortality. That's nice. There's some neat bit of writing in this that I enjoy. Okay. Huh, interesting. So this does not get us anywhere. So I guess we need to go into the big room. There's this lynx or whatever that is. Oh, we killed it. Level 2. And then you learn a new spell. Okay. Um, good. Let's do magic arrow for now. Because why not? Let's try it, actually. And leveling up, we get new mana. That's also good. Yeah. 
that works. It's just a basic attack spell, I guess. The one problem is I still don't know how to... Oh, that was a secret door. I still don't know how to regenerate mana points, but uh, that's something we can find out. Falling rocks, oh dear. Rest again. Yeah, we've been here for at least an hour. In game time, at least. Oh dear. How about we do this spell? Okay. Well, that works. Let's rest again. The walking corpse did not go after us, interestingly enough. Also, right now I don't see a way to get back here, actually. Which is strange. Or to get back to the stairs up. Probably a secret thing somewhere, but, uh, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's another one of these cats. Oh no, it's not a cat. It's a it's a dog. Potion copper. Um Yeah, we can carry a lot of stuff, that's good. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see a way to get back to the stairs up. Can we actually go back up? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Let's try this. Yeah, there's a door here. That also makes sense, but, uh... Huh. Weird. Well, there's no other way but to go down, right? So, let's do that. The weird thing is, now I don't know where to sell stuff, and so on. You know? Maybe there's another way to get back up at some point. Like some sort of town teleporter or something. I don't know. Oh, I was hit by an arrow. Which actually hurt quite a bit. Let's pick up all that money. We can't really use. That's just a suit of leather armor again, right? Oh, it's studded leather armor. Let's see. Let's try this on. It's a normal suit of studded leather armor. Okay. Character. Oh, armor value 22. Okay, there's another pit that I promptly fell into. Uh, let's take a look at the map. All right. Okay, well, so much for that. These seem to be rusted braces. Yes, indeed. I don't think we need them. Okay. Hmm. Any other way to go? Yes, there is. Let's go north over here. That seems to be a broken shield right here. And that's another scroll. How many scrolls do we have? Three and three potions. Another wool cloak that I can actually just drop. Okay, there are the stairs down. Second set of stairs down. Mm -hmm. uh, I got poisoned again. Okay. Don't like those vipers. Potion and a helmet. Okay, a leather helmet. Um, let's just put that on and hope that it is not cursed. No, it isn't. We haven't actually found any cursed items or anything. Ah, these are the stairs up, so this might actually be the way to get back up. Good. All right. 
Good. Now that we have that figured out, we can go on and, and worry less, I guess. Let's rest here. Let's go down again. This walking corpse is tough. That's a giant rat. Rest up again. Okay. Three hours in. What is this? Another suit of studded leather armor and a scroll. Okay. There's a small wooden shield. Oh, here goes. All right. Actually, yeah, we can take that back off. Oh no, shield is up here. You feel less protected. Ah, it's cursed. Okay. Try to activate this. What did it do? Hmm. I don't know. I just know that I disemboweled that goblin. Um... Character. That's okay. Armor value 23, so it didn't really take too much off. But, uh, now we can't remove it probably, right? Yeah, we can't move it. So we probably need to find a way to remove a curse until we can actually do something about that. Okay, let's see. Mm. Okay, there's one more path that we haven't taken. I'm not quite sure how long I'm gonna play this. And I'm dead! Oh dear, the walking corpse has totally murdered me. Um, yeah. So much for that. Okay, uh... Let's just do one more character. And I'm just going to stay on intermediate, I guess. I'm going to go with heal minor wounds still. So let's take a look at... Yeah, there's a remove curse thing here, which is 2500 copper. Which means... Okay, now for some reason I can't move. Yeah, it does... Demi, Christ. Yeah, it does actually look kind of similar to Dungeon Crawl, right? Um, it's obviously a much earlier, much more basic game, but uh, yeah. It looks like a MS Paint version of Stone Soup, in a way. Stone Soup is actually a game I wanted to play for a bit. Like, I never really got to it, because I was always playing other roguelikes at that point. At some point I will get into into Stone Soup. It's really cool, actually. It's one of these games where I've started runs over and over again. And then... Uh, never really bothered to go, get into it. Um, Alright. Let's do the thing again. Belt... Wool cloak, leather boots, and there's also a medium pack, which is actually, hmm, can't nest containers in a circle, that's good. And we can actually get a medium pack here. Hmm, can we actually open this? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can carry more, I guess. Didn't know that packs were also so cheap. So let's go back into the dungeon. Um, we have to be careful here, not to not get ourselves killed at the very start. Yes, kobold's dead. That could have become a bit of a problem. But uh, that works, so let's rest for healing up. Okay, so the yeah, the first floor is always the same. 
Good. Okay. Oh, Christ. Jesus Christ, sometimes these rats are just merciless. Um, the main goal of this game is to find an amulet. You know, the classic roguelike goal of finding the amulet of Yendor. I think it's not actually called the amulet of Yendor in here. But, um, yeah, I think by finding that amulet you avenge the farm of your parents. I think there's a burnt down farm somewhere. And uh, when you go there, the game tells you that your parents are dead. So essentially, you're Batman. Okay. So, yeah. That's how much I found out about this. Because, uh, yeah, this is basically me going through this essentially completely blind. Oh dear, we need to rest. Um, oh Christ, and Viper at level 1 is not something I look forward to. Okay, that at least took care of that thing. Let's do this. Let's hope that we don't die of the poison. You see a monster. Okay, oh, well, that's one of these guys. At least they are slow. Oh no, that's a teleporter thing and a hobgoblin. Christ. Okay, well, that hobgoblin. There seems to be like a. Like, oh god. I got killed by the poison. Jeez. Okay. There seems to be a. Like, the RNG factor is pretty high in this. Um, this is a stupid name, I know. Let's try this again. Okay. This seems to be working out the best for me for now. I wonder if you can actually use spears and so on to inflict damage. From a tile away or something. Okay, this time we don't have a medium pack here. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. And here we are. So let's get rid of the goblin, or not the goblin, the kobold. Put on the suit of leather armor. There's a certain repetitiveness about this, uh, the start of this game. Because you kind of have to rinse and repeat certain things. Okay. Rest up. Yes, it is random, actually. Um, the or like the dungeon floors, starting with the second one, are procedurally generated. So, uh, like the first floor is always the same, and the town always looks the same, but the the stores have different stuff. So that is not always the same. But uh, yeah, see now this second floor is way different. See if this walking corpse is going to murder us. It probably will. Ah, jeez. Those things are horrible. Christ! Okay. Well, uh, let's go somewhere else. How about that? Oh no. I have almost. No! I have almost no mana left. Interrupted, of course I am. There's another walking corpse. Jeez, this might be the end of me. 
Which walking corpse hit me? <sighs> well, I guess um, one last run. How about that? Checked objects. No, let's stay with the heal minor wounds. That seems to be working out the best. Normal mace. Ah, we can't afford the mace. And we could. Hmm. You know what? Let's do this. Yes. Now we can't really get much more than that, but. Uh, no. Might actually work out. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. Also, um, by the way, the game is freeware. Like the the developer of this game has given it away, so to say. I'm letting myself get oh no! Oh, you can actually save the game. That's nice. But you can probably not load. Like there's probably just one save state, but you can probably save scum because um, that just yeah. That just saves the game to a to a file, <laughs> and uh, you can copy that file away and then reload it. But um, yeah, you know, that's not really not really interested in doing that. It's never big on the "you die, it's over" aspect of roguelikes. Is actually something I enjoy very much. So, I've never really had the, the inclination to save scum. Okay. Come on. Good. The mace doesn't seem that much better, actually. But, uh, well, hey, there's a ring. You know what? I'm just going to put it on. It's probably... Oh no! It's an enchanted ring of protection. Okay, good! Not oh no. Oh good. <laughs> oh dear. Hobgoblin. Don't hobgoblin me to death. Thank you. Rest. You're interrupted. By what? What am I interrupted by? Nothing. Oh, a viper. Ah, I hate you. A lot. And I'm dead. So, that was just one bite by the Viper. Okay, um, yeah, so much for that. I don't know, maybe I'm actually going to go back to this game. But it's a very basic game, in a way. It's like, you know, it's, um, it's a little more complex than Rogue, I think. At least in terms of dungeon layouts and so on. And, um, but not much more complex. Certainly no hack. And certainly no net hack, but uh, you know, there's something charming about this, and I kind of like the how this is very obviously made in Microsoft Paintbrush, for example, which is the predecessor to Microsoft Paint. And uh, yeah, there's some other Windows games here, but I think I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it at that. So uh, yeah. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. 200. It's very nice. And uh, yeah, see you all later. Bye.